Good morning, honey. Good morning. How you doing? Good. All right. For everybody that hadn't met uh, Josie Ray, this is my granddaughter. Everybody meet Josie Ray. Hey. She's she's going to cook for us uh, some, some dinner for us today and uh, show us what you got, honey. Well, first we started by boiling three cups of water. And then once that we got that to a boil, we added three cups of potatoes. And okay. now, you uh, what, what are you cooking? It's a fish chowder. Fish chowder? Yes. And what do you got to do, stir these taters? Yes. Sir. All right. Um, look, at this, look at this pot. Hey, tell them about that. Well, I got that for my birthday, and it's my first meal cooking in it. Your I like birthday. the design on the top. <laughs> yeah. Do all right, that's got a good, that's boiling good there, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now that we have those to a boil, we're going to add nine slices of chopped bacon and put it on this griddle. Put that on the fire and it'll be getting warm. Right. And we have to do, um, and we need to cook this until it's transparent, which means that it's not exactly fully cooked. You can just see through it. So that's the meat. Uh, the only meat you have in here is uh, bacon and the uh, crappie, we call it, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got some onions you're going to put on there too? After this is transparent, we'll add the onions. Oh, okay. Then you spread that around a little more, then it'll probably cook a little better. Get a little further on the fire. Yeah, spread it on out good. Get them all off the top of each other, man. They're and fry up for, well, you're not frying them hard though, are you? No, sir. Coffee all be getting ready. Hey, yeah. About to. We'll get back with you in a minute. Well, well, I think this is getting to where we can add our onions. What do you think, Papa? It looks pretty good. Yeah. You didn't want it cooked all the way, huh? No, sir. The important thing is coffee person. <laughs> no, okay, you ready to add onions now? Yes, sir. I'm ready to add onions. Okay. Okay. We have one one large onion chopped. And how many is this going to feed by the time you're through? About five, four, five. Four to five? Yes, sir. Mm, Our potatoes. Nope, they're not yet. 
They're not ready yet? All right. Well, that's good, then. It's all going to come together by the time that's ready, huh? All right. We'll add that in, and then what, what are you going to do after that? With I'm going to take my fish. Mm -hmm. That's my your crappie? Fish, my, yes, it, How many pounds of it? I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of thyme. Oh. Four pounds of fish. I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of thyme, four pounds of fish, and then I'm going to add my bacon and my onion to my potatoes, along with the half a teaspoon of thyme and four pounds oh. of fish. All right. Eat your coffee, son. Yeah, I'm going to let it perk for another minute. Well, the um, bacon and onions are ready. We drain the grease off and we can go ahead and add whatever's in there because it says to add some. All our potatoes are done. This is one of them kind of hurry up things. That baby is hot. Okay, now we're going to add four pounds of fish and a thyme. Half a teaspoon of thyme. And then we'll add four pounds of fish. You can use whatever you want. We used white perch. Stir that in, Joey. Yes, sir. All right. Now we need to simmer and let cook for two minutes. Do what? Simmer and let cook for two minutes. Oh, good. Oh, oh yeah. Let it simmer for yes, ten minutes. Yes, sir. I guess you, it looks like there's plenty of water in there still, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Gonna be adding. All right. We'll, uh, we'll let that simmer for 10 minutes then. Okay, well, then we have to stir this occasionally while it's simmering. So, Ooh, that fish is looking nice. Fish is looking nice, isn't it? Yes, sir. Look at it, look how that's, yeah, go ahead and stir it in there real good and gently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man. I'm already getting hungry. I might be eating some of this for breakfast. <laughs> That's right. We get this cooked and I'm gonna throw some rabbit on that grill. I'm gonna stir it out a little more and kind of even it out. Yes, sir. Get it all in there. That looks real good though. Yeah, it looks delicious. Alright. And I'm gonna do something real important here. And uh, I'm going to pour up my coffee. And... Top of the morning too. Well, our stuff looks done. It wasn't exactly 10 minutes um, because it said 10 minutes or when the potatoes are tender. And our potatoes look tender. So we're going to stir this and then. Man, that fish smells good. Now we'll add. We're going to add three cups of milk.
course a teaspoon of pepper. I guess I'll go ahead and start stirring, huh? Yes, sir. And then I want Oh, that chowder, it's starting to look like chowder now. Yes, sir. I see how, how it's coming. Those are some nice chunks of meat that you cut them up in that real good size there. You know? Yes, sir. That is looking good. Now we have one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay. Oh, you spread that out good. Spread it out. And we'll spread, spread that in good. Oh, yeah. You know, it just don't get much better than this. All right, what are we going to do now? We're going to cover it up? Yes, sir. All right, here you go. I'm going to get back on the coffee. Okay, well, our um, chowder has, fish chowder has been cooking for about five minutes. So, we sh we're going to stir it and we think it's done. It's half off now. Oh, yeah, it's going real nice on the way across there. That looks good, Josie. Thank you. It should thicken up as it sits. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it supposed to be like soup? Yes, sir. Oh. So wait, wait, tell them about this. Oh, well, that's a little grill that you can um, put your hamburgers on. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a grill lid. Look, it's made in USA right there. Any type of meat. Well, that's pretty cool, man. And uh, I've got, do we need to take that off or add parsley to it? Just um, take it off first? Yes, sir. All right. Um, six tablespoons of parsley and just sprinkle it with that. All right. That's a little bit too much. But I'll There's stir quite it. a bit of chowder in there. Yeah, I'll stir it all in. That, uh, yeah, you don't have to put all of it in if it looks like. You, you uh. Yeah, we'll stir that yeah. in. That looks about even. We Maybe like four tablespoons. Let's start with uh, that recipe originally was just for three quarter pounds of a fish, wasn't it? Yes. Sir. And we put about four pounds, so so we 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 kind of winging it. Here, I'll let you stir that in. That looks pretty good. Smells good. I'm going to put my uh, rabbit on. This is a surf and turf deal going on here. But, uh, you know anything about cooking rabbit, Joseph? Not too much. No? You know about eating it, though, don't yeah. you? <laughs> I know about eating it. That's Get your mama already seasoned all this up real good. Yes, sir. Man, that coffee's good. Oh, we got us a little taste over here. Yeah, we all got some out. We've been letting it cool. You want to get try and get a little bit out of it and taste it? Get your spoon down there. There you go. Good. Oh man. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you what. 
That tastes like chowder. A good fish chowder. I like that. Man, that's good, Josie. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a good job. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I'm going to get this lid back on here. And we're going to let that sit for a while and it'll probably get even better. All right, Josie. I enjoy it. You going to stay down here with me while we cook this rabbit? Yes, sir. All right. All right, then. Everybody, we'll see y'all later. Man, I just had to come back and tell you, man, this stuff is delicious. You, you got to try it. I wish you was here to try it, man. It is so good. My granddaughter, Josie Ray, she just finished up uh, making some uh, fish chowder. And we're using the same fire that we built to cook this rabbit. And uh, I wanted to show you also these... Uh, we don't we don't throw any of the fish away and these back these backs after they're filleted these these uh, crappie I'm just throwing them on here too you know I'm just gonna cook them and I'll cook them just to where the the, the meat will come off the bone so we don't waste any of the fish even when we just uh, look how thick that rib is look at all the meat on that rib that's a that's a white perch. But anyway, these were some nice size, and, and I just wanted to show you what we do with the bony pieces, because none of it gets thrown away, and uh, we'll be eating good here in a little bit, and appreciate you watching, and we'll see you later.